In this video I shall be doing a review of Snow Linux 4, the Ubuntu based version with the Cinnamon desktop. Now I thought this would be an interesting comparison to Linux Mint 15, which also had the Cinnamon desktop, and I didn't think it was a particularly good distro, it didn't work very well on my system, took ages to install. Now I tried out the Snow Linux 4 Debian based version, and that was awful! I couldn't even install it on my system, it was buggy as and pretty unstable. So I was a bit uh, wary when I went to look at the Ubuntu based version, but it works fine and it works a lot better than Mint. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, I suppose my issues with it really are, what is the purpose of the Cinnamon desktop? Now I can see they're trying to be a bit like Gnome 2, but using Gnome 3. Okay, fair enough. But we've already got Mate that looks like Gnome 2 and <laughs> runs off like a Gnome 2 fork. Mm, that's good. But now they're adding desklets into Cinnamon, so they're trying to be like KDE. What's the purpose? KDE runs better, it's faster, and it's got more widgets. So what are they trying to do? I don't get it. I think we've got too many desktops in Linux. Right, so I'm just starting with the online features of the desklets and the themes. Pretty easy to install something through the online feature. You can just right click and mark for installation and or update installer update selected. Back to the install page and right click and add to desktop. Now I was playing around with this binary clock during the install, it didn't work. Actually I've noticed it does work because you but but because you're on the white background, you can't see it, can you? Oh, I'd love to change this theme, so let me just go and do that now. Get more online and I'm gonna try that one. Actually does it work? Oh, I'll give my work doing that. <laughs> Whoops, okay. Won't be installing that one then. Let's try one more. Oh, that works then. Cinnamon 15. Apply. Now what? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's try again. Apply theme. What's it do then? Oh, it is doing something. It's only changing certain parts of the theme, isn't it? Just the menu colour. No wallpaper or anything. In fact, this wallpaper is so bad, isn't it? Let me just bear with me a minute. I want to get a different one. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, I've got nothing useful. Oh, well, let's leave it as it is because I can't access the folder that I wanted to. But there's not much else that's special with a desktop. You've got the application menu in the bottom left, where you've got the searcher, so you can type in something, um, totem, and it brings up the video player. You can drag and drop applications to and from the favourites, so I can take one out and pop one back in there. That's all pretty simple. Got a show desktop button, shortcuts to Firefox, terminal, and file manager. A notification box there, like um, KD would have. A launcher to the settings and panel editor, network connection, volume control, time and date. So take a look what applications we have pre-installed. Under accessories, nothing that special. Administration, now it's got a firewall configuration, a software update, a Synaptic I installed, the Ubuntu tester, Ubuntu software center and user account controller. Firewall configuration would be just GUFW. Well, let me just mess around here because we had one distro I couldn't turn the firewall on from the GUI, but this one seems to work absolutely fine. Under graphics, um, really nothing much there. We've got the document viewer, LibreOffice, Draw, Shotwell, Photo Manager, and Simple Scan. Internet, Firefox for the web browser, Pigeon Instant Messenger, Thunderbird for the email client and transmission for downloading torrent files. Office, you've got the full suite of LibreOffice. Preferences, it's pretty much what you get under Ubuntu, isn't it? Nothing that special though. Sound and video, now I installed Clementine while I was playing around testing the distro out, but by default it would have Brazio, Rivenbox, sound recorder and videos installed. And system tools, nothing that special really other than the system settings there. So we'll just take a look at that box. So this is more unified than it was before in previous versions of Cinnamon, and you've got the advanced mode as well. 
So you could change the effects, for instance, and put in different effects on there. And here is what I thought of Snow Linux 4. So easy to use. Yep, reasonably easy enough. Ease of installation. Now I've given it top marks here, but let me just say, it's slightly slower than a normal Ubuntu installation. It's about 15 minutes on my system, but at least it does have a warning about it using the software rendering, because at that point it doesn't have the NVIDIA graphics drivers. So fair enough there. Styling, yeah, it's reasonably good. Boot up speed, <laughs> not good. Cinnamon desktop is not particularly quick to boot up. It's 29 seconds. It's a couple of seconds faster than Linux Mint. Responsiveness, yeah, reasonably good. Number of bugs, just one here. I found some lag with the Nemo file manager when accessing network drives. Now I tried that with both SSH and SMB or Samba. Same thing with both. Selection of pre-installed application, yeah, reasonably enough. Just because it doesn't come with the codecs pre-installed, you have to go and install them. Which is a bit odd for one of these distros that's based off Ubuntu because they normally have the codecs pre-installed. Don't know what they're doing there. Number of applications available, yeah, it's same as I would give Ubuntu, because at least you do get the Ubuntu software center there with all the pay for applications. So the good points. So I think it's a much better alternative to Linux Mint 15. So if you're after the Cinnamon desktop, I found it a lot faster, more stable, and <laughs> at least it lets you easily use the Ubuntu software center. Now, fair enough, you can get that in Mint, but even for an experienced user, it's like pulling teeth, oh, painful. Bad points though, because it's Ubuntu 1304, you've only got support time in nine months. And just personal opinion here, despite this distro running very well, I'm dubious about it since the Debian version of Snow, Snow Linux 4 was awful. They didn't have particularly good control over their repositories. I found some applications were particularly well out of date. But what can I say, overall, I've given it 75%. So thanks for watching. See you later.